Hey there, you're riding in the car with the Cairo. So today's topic is how do you handle emotional stress? What are your go-to strategies to allow yourself to decompress? We all have had um, difficulties, uh, personal difficulties, emotional difficulties in our lives. And there's no one strategy that works for everybody. So I thought it would be a great topic because uh, I've been dealing with that in my own personal life and uh, wanted to explore some thoughts on this. Do you um, overindulge in bad food? Like, do you run to the quote unquote dollar store or Walmart and get a bunch of crap and, and, and feed, feed your body bad stuff just because you feel bad? Um, do you resort to alcohol or, or, or marijuana or, or something to numb yourself so you don't have to feel? Um, do you just hold it in and just explode when somebody asks you, like, can you pick that fork up off the counter? You know, are you one of those that holds it in and then boom, you're an explosion? Um, do you reach out? to uh, friends or family or whomever, uh, you're, uh, sit down with your significant other and just express what your, what your thoughts are, what your feelings are, let the tears flow. Um, do you go internal and get super quiet and just, you want all the noise to shut off so you just, you just get quiet? Um, do you just decide, I want to check out? And not only get quiet, I just go to bed. I just don't want to be awake at this moment in time. Um, do you go to the gym and like try and kill yourself <laughs> in your workout? Um, do you take the time to make sure that you're hydrated, knowing that your body is stressed and it needs and requires more hydration? Um, do you pay attention to your body signals when it's crashing? I had a headache for two and a half days. And um, for me, um, I don't take medication, uh, drug therapy. I prefer not to. Could not get to my chiropractor uh, at those moments. And so I just chose to um, be quiet, go to bed early, um, put an ice pack on my head, my neck, whatever. Um, and just just rest. Even though I couldn't get to sleep, I just allowed my body to rest. Um, I chose for myself, uh, I chose to do a workout, um, which seemed to help the headache for a while. Um, and I just needed that release of those wonderful brain uh, chemicals, endorphins and keflins to allow uh, some sense of feeling good. Um, you know, what are your go-tos for when you have these incredible emotional stressors going on? Um, there is no right answer. Um, there are some wrong answers, and those wrong answers have to do with um, you not taking care of yourself and it not changing the outcome of whatever it is that you're dealing with. So while numbing yourself with perhaps... Uh, drugs or alcohol seems to be a go-to for a lot of people. There's no solutions found in a bottle or in, in, in a pill or, or, or in marijuana or any of that stuff. There's no solutions discovered there. So I share this with you because we all need to have outlets. And those outlets should be as healthy as possible so that you can heal your emotional wounds and numbing yourself just poisons your body. Your body's already in crisis because of the emotional distress. And the worst thing you can do is to allow yourself to spiral further by toxifying your body. Um, so today's topic is what are your go-tos when you are truly stressed out? I'd love to hear what your go-tos are if I haven't shared them because I'm always looking for another outlet that's healthy and productive. Um, so this is Dr. Anita from Mylon Family. Hey, Kathy. Uh, we've been talking about um, go-tos for stress reduction, and I shared some strategies 
And I'd love to hear what other people's strategies are on how do you get through that stressor so it doesn't, you know, spiral into day after day after day because, listen, you can't change the outcome of whatever is going on. What you can do is choose to try and find the light um, at the end of the tunnel, um, try to find another tunnel if that's the case, and choose to live life as best you can um, because life is short. So again, this is Dr. Anita from Milan Family Chiropractic Center right here in Bayville, New Jersey, and you've been riding in the car with the Cairo. I personally am going to see my chiropractor right now to help turn on life in my body because my body was crashed and I, I did my workout this morning, felt pretty good, but I know that I need that tune-up to help my body lift up out of the funk that it's feeling and get that power turned on, reconnecting me from my brain to my body so that my body can be at its best so I don't continue to crash and burn um, and uh, be at my best so that I can deliver the goods in my office. So if you're not under regular chiropractic care, I behoove you. Kathy, I'm talking to you. Uh, I behoove you to get yourself checked by a chiropractor. If you live local, I'd love to be your family chiropractor. We're having our annual food drive, $29 or more donation of groceries or a gift card for groceries. You can come in and get a complete and thorough consultation and evaluation on us to see if we're the right place for you and we can help you out. If you're not local, drop me a link, uh, drop me a message, and I'll find a great chiropractor for you to have your spine checked. I look forward to seeing you on the next ride. This is Dr. Anita from Milan Family Chiropractic Center right here in Bayville, New Jersey. You've been riding in the car with the Cairo. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you on the next ride.